A high school teacher's bathroom pass has students shocked and upset. Passes that appear to take aim at transgender students or students who identify with a gender other than the one they were born with. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at El Dorado High School, school near Montgomery and want to bow with that story. Madeline. Yeah, well, Dean, whether or not it was the intention of the teacher to offend students, many were disturbed by it. APS officials not happy either. It's kind of rude. Not okay. These El Dorado High School students are reacting to this. Bathroom passes handed out this morning by math teacher Donna Cravey. The passes say don't get confused at the top with the bold words girls and boys on each side. Some students took it as a jab at gender identity issues. It's okay to have those kinds of beliefs. It's okay to have any kinds of beliefs, but you shouldn't be like kind of pushing it on kids like that. Many were particularly bothered. And it's just not healthy for students to be able to feel like they can't be themselves around school. It's nothing less than degrading. Junior Colin Bars went as far as to tweet the pass at APS, garnering dozens of likes and retweets. APS replied, thanks for bringing it to our attention. We're addressing it. APS spokeswoman Monica Armenta told News 13 the passes are, quote, unacceptable and inappropriate. She said Mrs. Cravey has been spoken to. But junior Matthew Farmer, who has Mrs. Cravey for Algebra 2 this year, doesn't think she meant it to be offensive. He says she created her bathroom passes a long time ago and reuses the templates. Years ago, it was not a controversial topic. It is nowadays. I just don't think that she sees that and doesn't understand. Still, others think educators should be up to date and aware of topics like these. Teachers, they should be held at a higher standard because um, they obviously influence the kids a lot. Now, APS policy says a student can use the rest, restroom that corresponds with their gender identity. That policy was just enacted last year, meaning this is the first school year that it's been in place. Back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. Now, we reached out to Mrs. Cravey by email, but have not heard back.